Report to live here in Little Italy at the Royal Theatre for the Empire Strips Back Show. It's live from last week, episode 166. Let's go! Welcome, you, my fellow Jew Walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Starting off this week, coming off a decent night shift, but only getting off one and a half hour post shift quality sleep. I stayed in with the wife, editing some Live from Last Week videos while re watching a couple of our favorite movies, including not just the original. Rush Hour, but also resetting the scenes from another classic, Rush Hour 2, before we caught this beautiful sunset to the west this evening. And speaking of this evening, the wife had surprised me with some dinner tonight, getting food from one of her favorite pizza hotspots, opening up here the No Name Pizza, the Electric Avenue Pizza, and the Truff Guy Pizza. And after looking at all these delicious Detroit style pizzas that we had laid out, only able to have room for two slices in my tummy tonight, I had tried the Electric Avenue pizza slice first with it being pretty decent, but it was no comparison to my newest favorite Detroit style pizza slice, the Truff Guy Pizza. But anyways guys, feeling like I'm just about to pass out from the lack of sleep that I got earlier today, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my former coworkers out there who would enjoy organizing fun group outings outside of work. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Mara. Happy birthday, Mara. And we've got a birthday greeting to one of my formerly of U of T friends out there who I used to see all the time at FSAT events in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Luigi. Happy birthday, Luigi. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, firstly today, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of our Airbnb hosts from the past, of whom hosted us when we were on our New Orleans trip several years back. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Now, moving on back to this morning. Having passed out on the couch last night and my body just waking me up, after having almost six hours of sleep, I was able to take in this nice sunrise view before dropping off the wife to a Pilates session somewhere in North York. Then checking out this mall where I was editing videos in the food court, visiting the local Center Point Mall. And guys, recalling the time that I got the wife a Valentine's Day gift last week, tickets to a show that we've always wanted to watch, taking with us something that I bought in the past and that I've shot with in previous Live From Last Week videos, I drove with my Chewbacca Star Wars hat on, Excited to go to Little Italy to the Royal Theatre. Surprising the wife with a spontaneous purchase that I made just last week. Alright, take off your hat. Last week? What's going on? Why did you spend Alright, close your eyes. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Where did you get this from? Okay. <laughs> uh, suffocating there. And watch with her the Star Wars burlesque parody called The Empire Strips Back. So quickly guys, before anything, we'll throw it back to where I was a little bit earlier for the birthday greetings of the day. So firstly today, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my classmates back in university from my Ryerson days. This birthday shout out goes out to you Shannon. Happy birthday Shannon. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who I haven't played alongside with in a couple of years. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Siraj. Happy birthday, Siraj. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. 
But moving on, after watching that fun Star Wars parody of a burlesque show last night, of which I would highly recommend if you haven't seen it already, even seeing us here cosplaying a little bit while watching the show, the wife and I post-show went to the nearby Tondu Ramen, where I saw this autograph signed Blue Jays jersey of one of my favorite players, and where we enjoyed this delicious food here, as well as some kale slash vegetable ramen for the first time. How is it? But today, after getting a half decent sleep, I dropped off the wife to the usual place where she gets her massages done before being compelled, just like last week, to stop by this shop once again, as Thursdays are their $1.50 item days, where it was full of people, but the bins were certainly becoming empty. But boy oh boy guys, in this busy store, I was able to find this. Check it out, it's Deadpool. And for how much you guys ask, this costume costs exactly this much. But yeah, afterwards, I picked up the wife and drove her to Blue Mountain this afternoon to make use of our season ski passes for a little bit. Or pretend to ski, at least. <laughs> She's skiing. She's skiing. <laughs> <laughs> then drove back to the condo to check out this beautiful sunset before subbing tonight just like previous times in the past to play indoor volleyball with Siren's team at the late hour of 10 p.m. with a couple of these highlights tonight But guys, continuing on with the volleyball theme, something for Cyrus team was actually the second volleyball event that I went to this evening. As earlier, I was actually participating in another volleyball indoor event at the Midtown Toronto Gym. So waking up after a quick little sleep last night and seeing outside the condo a big beautiful full moon to the west before the sunrise, I drove the wife to her day shift downtown a little earlier this morning before trying on my latest $1.50 purchase that I bought just yesterday, which you guys know I'm hoping to use sometime again in the near future. And guys, this costume that I'm wearing right now isn't just stylish, 
but functional as well as I was able to edit some live from last week videos and get a couple of my household chores done around the condo like laundry with it on. Anyways, tonight I'm going in for my first of a scheduled two night shifts over this weekend and thus wrap up this short segment for today and I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. So coming off a semi-stressful night shift, where just like you've seen me in previous Live From Last Week episodes in the past, I had found this box of goodies in the break room. Luckily, finding one single last donut here, and of course, chowed it down as a nice little stress reliever during my break. I also, for the first time in quite a while, was able to land some street level garage parking last night before going home to the condo to take a post-shift nap of only this much. And why is that, you guys ask? Maybe it was because I was too excited for this. So for the first time since I sadly had to put away my Blue Jays gear for the winner, I of course broke out my Blue Jays jersey once again, as well as my Blue Jays baseball cap, and watch the Blue Jays' first game of the 2024 spring training season. Woo! Spring training, baby! Let's go! Which, guys, might be a little bit of a foreshadowing tell of something that I planned sometime in the near future. So all I gotta say is, stay tuned. So yeah, after staying in, chilling, watching this game in between my night shifts, We'll wrap up today's segment by going in for my second of my scheduled two aforementioned night shifts tonight. So starting off after getting a short post night shift nap in, I'm recalling a spontaneous purchase that I made just on Friday. Reminded about an event that I went to with this guy, the cousin Lou, just this past August. Buying Toronto Comic Con tickets for next month for the session on Friday, March 15th. Anyways, once again, going back to the topic that I woke up at 1 p.m. today, I'm catching with that Blue Jay jersey that I got off Facebook Marketplace not too long ago. Yet another Blue Jays spring training game on TV while I can't sleep this afternoon. As well as catching online Sunday Catholic Mass on YouTube. Chilling after getting called into work for an unscheduled third night shift in a row tonight. But before I go in for work, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made in university that I remember from our Ryerson days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, and uh, happy birthday, and uh, I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So coming off last night's night shift this morning, recalling the time that we were introduced to this unit several months back. Winners, yeah. winners. We won't skip a beat during construction. We won. We won. As well as a couple of good memories that we had here in the moment in between seeing our patients. After a redeployment shift, I went back to that unit to say my final farewells as we are being moved to a larger unit somewhere else in the hospital. But moving on, I then went to pick up the wife from her work where she had a little bit of a breakfast popcorn surprise for me on our commute home before I was able to pass out with a solid post-shift nap of just over an hour. And guys, just looking at my sleep record over the past half week or so, I'm thinking that I was just a little bit excited making a spontaneous purchase of some Blue Jays tickets online earlier, as well as being eager to watch my boys play some spring training action yet again this afternoon. But yeah, looking at these videos that I caught last night, checking out the nice, beautiful sunset, and comparing it to how it looked to the west of the condo earlier, and how it was about a year ago around the same time, We'll just now take a moment to do the birthday greetings of the day. Starting out with a quick birthday shout out to one of my family friends from back in my childhood. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Stephanie. Happy birthday, Stephanie. And we got a quick birthday shout out to one of the groomsmen in my wedding, of whom I haven't seen since this live from last week episode, and whose birthday I celebrated with around this same time last year. 
This birthday shout out goes out to you, PK. Happy birthday, PK. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And so with that guys, since I'm about to pass out soon and getting ready for a long busy day tomorrow, we'll just wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.